guys, so today I'm going to be sharing with you my makeup collection, share with you how I organize my makeup and what I put it in and all that good stuff. I love how my makeup is all stored right now. It's just super convenient and I can see everything and it just works for me really nicely right now. Up until I graduated college, I carried all my makeup in like a train case and I would just take it wherever I went. If I traveled, I would take the entire thing with me and it was just annoying. And then once I started watching YouTube videos, I started buying a lot more makeup and my makeup wasn't fitting in there anymore and I wanted a more like permanent makeup storage kind of thing. So that's why I looked for something else. I have used this storage for about two years now. Love it. I got my containers from uh, the container store. So I'll put the link down below where you can find them. I purchased four separate containers and just kind of stacked them on top of each other. They never like move around, they, they don't fall off or anything like that. I wanted the like clear cube storage thing, you know, like the Kardashians have and everything, but they are ridiculously expensive. And I think I watched somebody else's video on YouTube and they had these drawers and they looked perfect. The thing I like about it, it's like, it fits my makeup perfectly to where there's room. It's not like shoved in there. I don't have, if you're like a normal, regular person who doesn't, who isn't like obsessed with makeup, uh, it probably will look like I have a lot of makeup, but if you are a person who does YouTube videos on makeup, um, I don't think I have that much makeup compared to somebody who collects makeup, so I don't know, I just, it works for me. I use everything that I have, that's the thing, so if I don't use something, then I give it to a friend or something. Um, yeah, she... <laughs> She still wants to play. She got, she scratched her eye and is on antibiotics right now for that. So let's get started. And if you have any questions, if I forget to talk about something or whatever, just leave it in the comments. I hope you guys all enjoyed this video. It is so requested. It's probably my most requested video. I'm moving also in like a month. So this setup will change shortly, but it's the same. It'll be the same drawers and everything like that. So here we go. So here is where I do my makeup. This desk is from overstock.com. This little bench beneath it is from Target, and it's nice because it has a little storage compartment underneath it. And these containers are from the container store. I have four of them, and they are just stacked on top of each other. My little mirror there is from, let's see, I think it's from Ulta. And then my brushes are in an e.l.f. little container. It has three different compartments, and I just love it. It's awesome. So I keep everything kind of in order of how I do my makeup. So I keep my face products down below like my concealers, foundation, powder, all that, and then I work my way up to bronzers and highlighters, blushes, and then all the way up to lip products. So I'm going to just open every drawer and kind of show you how, how I have it laid out. Here are my foundations. I have Advanced Mineral, Flower, Bourjois, and a Revlon Color Stay. In this drawer, I keep all my primers, my eyebrow products, and any like cream highlighters. So I have my Murad Primer, NARS, Urban Decay Eye Primer, Josie Marin highlighter, under eye primer, and then there's like some eyebrow products back there, some highlighting products. I just kind of throw those all in there. These are all products that I use first on my skin usually. And then the next drawer we have concealers and any products that aren't really foundation. So like my tinted moisturizers kind of go up here. These are my Laura Mercier tinted moisturizers, Makeup Forever concealer, a Physician's Formula concealer, Lancome, Revlon, and a flower one, so I keep those right there. And here I keep all of my loose powders and pressed powders. So I have, in the back there is a Laura Mercier setting powder and a Laura Mercier foundation right here. Laura Geller and a Advanced Mineral press powder and then a little sample I'm trying back there. Also wanna mention these drawers get really scuffed up, which kind of stinks, but it's all right. Next I have my bronzers, highlighters, and blushes that are more like skin tone colors as opposed to over there I have my blushes that are more like pinks and peaches and that sort of thing. So I have my Smashbox bronzer and my Too Faced Chocolate Soleil underneath there. Mary Luminizer by The Balm and Josie Marin highlighter. And this is Exposed by Tarte and then I have a couple NARS blushes in here. Uh, Madly, Luster, and Gina. Those are like kind of neutrals and kind of like warmer tones. And then on this side I have my other blushes. There's Bobbi Brown, MAC here, a couple Milani, Benicos, Physicians Formula, and NARS. And Sheer Cover down there. And I have my NYX cream blushes and a Clinique cream blush back there. And then I have some like loose shadows and shadows that I don't really use very often. So like my Bare Minerals, my MAC, 
these ones I just, I don't know why I bought those. Um, again, loose powders back there. So these are kind of like, if I'm wanting to use things that I haven't been using very often, I go to this drawer. Here are all my cream eye products. So I have my Paint Pots by MAC, two of these Aqua Creams by Makeup Forever, and then these back here are the Maybelline color tattoos. So here are all my mascaras, my eyeliners, and my lip liners. So I just kind of throw them all in here because they fit. So I have like L'Oreal, Tarte, Benicos, MAC, just kind of whatever liners I have going on kind of get thrown in here. Um, yeah, Just kind of everything is in there. Next to it I have my lipsticks. I have all of my lip butters on the bottom, my MAC ones on top, and then behind it I have kind of like miscellaneous lip products. This is one I wore for my wedding. It's the Estee Lauder Pink Berry. I love that. So there's some L'Oreal down there, Revlon, Rimmel, let's see Revlon. Yeah. And then right above that I have my lip glosses. So these are all of my Tarte Lip Surgeons and then all my lip glosses are kind of thrown in there too. I have some Juicy Tubes, Almay, Rimmel, MAC, just kind of everything. And then back here I have some Revlon ones. And then right next to that is my like miscellaneous lip products. There are my Lip Butters by Corez. Uh, let's see, some Sugar Treatments by Fresh. And yeah, you can just see there's just kind of like random chapsticks and stuff like that. Up top I have this sanitizer by Cleanwell. I just keep this to wash my hands before I do my makeup. I also have a brush cleaner here from Sephora that I just spray my brushes after I use them to sanitize them. This is my George's Aloe and it's just a just pure aloe vera spray and I've been using this for a setting spray and I've been loving it or if my face just feels dry I mist it over my face. I keep some just little q-tips here if I need to use them, a EOS lip balm, and then in this little drawer, this was a candle that I just took the wax out of. In here I have lip glosses that just don't fit or like that they leak. So the NYX lip glosses tend to leak on me, like right here, they kind of seep through. So I keep them upright. Same thing with my Sephora lip gloss, I keep that just because it's big. Uh, Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray, a Victoria's Secret Setting Spray, and then I have my Heritage Rose Water in here too, and an eyelash curler. So this is everything kind of zoomed out so you can see what it looks like. These are what the, like how deep the drawers go back. I like how it's clear so you can just see everything. It just looks nice and it kind of forces you to make things semi-organized. Here is my mirror right there. And here is all of my brushes. I keep all of like my face big brushes on that side. Um, just kind of whatever brushes there and then all of my eyeshadow brushes and eye stuff on that side. And last I wanted to show you what I keep in these two drawers right here. So in this drawer I keep all of my eyeshadow palettes and then just a little like washcloth back there. What I do with this is put it on my desk while I'm doing my makeup so it doesn't get super dirty. I have my Z palettes. This black one is shadows that I use like almost every day, mostly MAC and then a couple random ones up there. And then this Z palette has more like colors and eyeshadows I don't use that often. Then I have my Lorac Lace Palette. This palette is super pretty. Let me open it for you. It has just like a couple mattes and a couple metallics. It's really pigmented, really pretty. A Physician's Formula a Sheer Cover, which I got at Beautycon. This is a really pretty Maybelline um, quad. And then a Travel Size Z palette. And I just take this with me if I travel anywhere. And then I have my Naked palette, my Inglot palette, and a Sedona Lace palette. And then on this side, I keep kind of like everything else. So I have some eyelashes over on that side. I have a lot of little samples for foundation. And these, this is kind of like where I keep products that are either too dark for me. I don't use them every day. All these foundations are just a little too dark right now. Same with this concealer and powder and bronzer. Um, a couple lipsticks that I don't really grab for very often. And then here are my hard candy bronzers and my Milani bronzer. This is just a little too shimmery for me. Like I'll keep it sometimes maybe for like my arms or something in the summer. It'd be good for like a nighttime kind of thing. And then my hard candy bronzers are a little bit, I don't know, I feel like they're making me break out and they the ingredients in them aren't the best so I might pass them on to somebody else. It's kind of sad though. 
And then back here we have some samples that I just kind of keep over there. And that is everything. So I hope you guys all enjoyed this video and hopefully picked up a couple tricks along the way. If you have any video requests or anything that you want to see, just leave it in the comments below. If you have a specific question for me, Twitter and Instagram or Facebook are the easiest ways to get a hold of me the quickest. So thank you guys so much for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already so you can see future uploads that I post. And yeah, I will see you guys all in the next video. Bye!